Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I was considering doing a video and then I thought not and then I was like yes, I was decisive. But I opened a package and I've been using it a little bit um, because if I don't use the product, how am I going to tell you how I like it? Um, I'm doing the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette um, and because I opened it, I wanted to show you guys this awesome paper. This is the tissue paper it came in. It's a hard paper, but it's really awesome. I mean, that's all his tattoos, and I think that is just the coolest thing. Um, this is Jeffree Star Bug Gloss. And this is the one called Sickening. And I do have it on. It's a purple. And it has an undertone of pink and brown. And it is super velvety silk. I mean, it's like very good. This gloss is around $18. And it lasts a long time. I mean, if you eat and drink, of course, it's, some of it will come off this gloss. But it is beautiful packaging, and I'm sure this will last me like forever. But it's sickening, and it's part of the new Bloodlust collection by Jeffree Star. I um, got the palette, and it was sold out on the internet. Sold out, I can't talk. It was completely sold out for a long time, and I found it on Beautylish. So if you're looking for this palette, Beautylish is probably only place you're going to find it unless he restocks it on his personal uh, site. This is Bloodlust Palette by Jeffree Star. And I have wanted this for a long time. I've had it for a while, um, but I've not done a video on it yet. I wanted to uh, before I open it and keep it open. This is what it looks like. I am in my kitchen today because the light's better. I have natural light from my window, and the lighting in here is just better than in my beauty room. And I have my dog and my cats in here. They free on me. They don't get put up, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Hercules sitting right there. <laughs> and if anybody's in rescue, I know who Hercules is. This is the Blood Lust Palette. This thing here is crushed velvet. It's an artistry palette. This is metal. This is not plastic or anything. This has got some weight to it. It's not a palette you're going to travel with. This is a palette that is for a collector or somebody who is a really beauty guru. But his products are top of the line. Uh, this retails for $54. This palette does. I can tell you right now that um, Urban Decay, um, Kat Von D, many of them can be more expensive. This palette here is awesome. I mean, they're all high-end brands. They're all good brands, in my opinion. I'll move this down a little bit so you can see me. But you go in here and you open it, and this is what you're going to get. The mirror, I have yet to take the plastic off. And since I'm opening this and I won't be shutting it. Oh, let's see. Peter's doing something. So, it's a huge mirror. I mean, you can see her. <laughs> this is my Hercules. He's looking up like, what are you doing? So, this is a huge mirror. And it's got a lot of colors colors are gorgeous. I have on my eyes today two of these colors. I have on Royal Pain, which is this one, and I have on Bleeding Heart. And I just sort of blended them in together. And I love them. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do some swatches. Let's see how many there is. Eighteen. Eighteen. That's 
huge dollop for um, eyeshadow. And um, some of the reviews are talking about there's not a purples in here. Some of them I'm watched said um, there's fallout in the pan. Well, it's powder. You may have some fallout in a pan, and that's okay with me because it is a high end. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this except it's freaking awesome. I love it. Um, I got the gloss. This is the gloss <laughs> by Jeffree Star. I've had these products for a while, but I have tried not to use them until I could do a video on them, and it's killed me. I do have the lip gloss on now. It is a purple with a brown and pink undertone. Undertone, I should say. Uh, this is called Sickening, and it is part of um, the Bloodlust collection. And this retails for eighteen dollars. It's got oh, let me. It's got a nice, nice big applicator on there. But, you know, it's a purple, but it's also got pink and brown in it. So, it's not overwhelming to a person my age. I'll be 50 next month. I don't care to say that. I'm 49, and I can pull this off. Um, this makeup is for anybody. Younger people love it, but people our age can wear it without any problem. Okay, this one, we're going to go from the top. Let me go from the top. This one is called Your Majesty. Okay, this one is called Take the Crown. I like doing round swatches because you can see it better. Let's take the crown. It's a magenta purple. Uh, this one is called Deviant. It's a lavender. If you ask me, it's lavender. I'm going to wash my fingers off. i got a rag here because there's no way I'm going to swatch that many swatches with the same hand. Okay. Uh, Beauty Sleep just gorgeous. Beauty Sleep is really, really, really pretty. That's Beauty Sleep. It's real pretty pink. Wet Jewel is even a darker pink, and it's a shimmer. It's got a lot of glitter in it. It's sort of light, but it's got a lot of shine. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, this one is called Royal Pain. It is a pretty color. It really is. Okay. Let me go into Scandal Water. will be next. And that's Scandal Water. It's between a purple and a blue. It's really, really pretty. Um, a lot of people think that the colors in these palettes you can't wear if you're older, and that's a misconception. You can. You can definitely do it. I do it all the time. Okay, so we're over here to Dungeon, and this is a dark, dark, dark purple. And it's really pretty. And these colors are very pigmented. They're very pigmented. You're gonna you're not gonna have to uh you know, really dig down deep in that. This one is called Sworn Enemy. And there's actually some greens in here, and I love these greens. This one is awesome. You could really build that up to such a pretty color, and it's got some shimmer in it. So it's really nice. This next one is called Pink Magic. And I'm telling you, these colors are pigmented. I'll be yin yang. See that pink magic, and it's a purplish pink. It's got glitter in it. You you can't help but love these colors. 
I'm going to start swatching with this hand. The next one is called Bleeding Heart. And I have Bleeding Heart on my lids. But I, it can be very dark. You can... And remember, these are made to use with brushes, not your fingers. So it doesn't have to be this dark. Um, you know, your finger is more heavy-handed than a light brush. So keep that in mind if you decide you want to buy this palette because you know you do not have to use, you know, such a heavy hand. They can be very light, pretty colors. This one I love. It's almost black. So I'm not putting nobody off. <laughs> it's almost a black. It's glitter in there. It is a gorgeous color. Oh, oh lefty. Come on, lefty. <laughs> Left-handed people, huh? You see that? That is gorgeous. I, it's pretty much a black. I'm like, black and red? I shot up? I don't know. But when I bought it, and I got it, I was like, oh, yes, please. This is so odd and awesome. But you're not going to find nobody wearing your colors today. Unless they're a Jeffree Star fan. This one is called, oh, the black one is called Executioner. Bleeding Heart. Executioner. And this one, this beautiful purple, purple here, because I can't talk, purple, is called High King. High King. And it's really pretty. It is a really pretty color. I'm going to try to get it to where you guys can see it better. So it's been lefty. Maybe. Aggravating. This is a uh, lavender. It's a lavender with an undertone of almost a brown in it. It's really pretty. Uh, this one is called Monarchy. Let me find a clean finger and do my thumb. Monarchy. It is, it is a pretty nude. Pretty nude color. Really pretty. And that's it. It's very nude. I might wash my hand off. Go back. Because there's so many shadows in here. And they're... This is a big palette. For $54. You're getting your money's worth over and over again. I actually spray some water on my hand. The water bottle here. So I can... And then we're going to be over here at Blood Queen. This is a deep purple. This is so pretty. I mean, this sucker is pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation on there. That one's called Blood Queen. The next one is called Vile Serpent. And it is a green. And it is super pretty. A vile serpent. That one's nice. I like that one. Betrayal. Betrayal is a gorgeous color too. I'll put it right here on my hand. Can you see that? And that one's betrayal. And that's all the colors. So I mean, you get a lot of variations of color with this. Palette. I mean, you really do. Very few palettes are you going to get this many colors for that price. You really are. And then the packaging is just gorgeous. I mean, this is going to last me a lifetime probably. I will use this quite often. I've used it. And what I can say about this is when you put this on, at the end of the day, I put this on early in the morning, and I went to um, my radiation treatment with my sister, and I can say that the last time I wore it, I put it on early in the morning, and when I went to bed, I had to take it off. It was still there. So you all day wear with this palette, and that, to me, is impressive because I hate touching up makeup. Once I put it on, I don't carry makeup in my purse. Don't carry it in my truck. 
I just don't think I should have to go back to the mirror and touch something up. Shouldn't have to do it. Today, what I've got on my face is, like I said, I've got on the, I don't know if I said it in this video or not, because I messed up the video earlier because my computer died. I've got on Royal Pain, this one up here. And then I've got on Bleeding Heart to deepen it here. And these are made to use with a brush. They're not made to use with one of those little makeup things, um, like a Q-tip type of thing. They're not made to put on with your hands. They are made to go on with brushes. So that's what, how I got my look. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm very happy with it. Um, for someone who's got dark hair and dark eyes like me, purples and these colors can really bring out your eye color because a lot of colors drown out brown eyes. Um, what I got on my face, like I said, those two colors of the Jeffree Star. I got on Elf. Her Flawless Satin Foundation, which is like eight bucks, and it's a big container. It's a pump. I use it all the time. So it's got, you know, it's good. Of course, I got on the gloss, which he's got tons and tons of colors, and there's so many I want, but I'm you know, I'm not going to pay $18 for every one. Uh, my sister gave me this, and this is the eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eye liner and the mascara that I have on. My sister brought it to me for Christmas. Uh, this is Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio. And this stuff goes on, as you can see, it was a very long pencil, and now it's not. It goes on very, very smooth. Very smooth. So, I gotta get the cat off the table. Callie's decided she's coming to visit. This is a very smooth eyeliner and it doesn't smear. It doesn't have fallout. Um, it's good. And I think it's just, I think I googled that and it's like maybe $5, $5.99. So, it's not expensive. This one is Revlon's Super Links in black, dark black, and that's the eyelash stuff, the mascara I have on today. So that's what's on my face. Um, I want to do more videos, but I haven't for a while because of my cancer treatments. And like I said, it's just me and my laptop. I have no lighting. I have no fancy camera. I do the video and I upload it or go live. And um, I'm hoping to do some more because I have stuff piled up from months ago. That I've been wanting to do videos for products that I'm not using because they're still in the box. So at least this I got out of the way. So. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe for me, help my channel out. Um, and these products, some of them are cheap that I have on my face. Some of them are high end, but they're worth it. These products are definitely worth their money. I give them definitely a thumbs up. And um, I haven't tried anything from Jeffree Star yet that I don't like. I don't get any money, I don't get any kickback, I don't get a coupon, I don't get anything for saying yes or no on a product. It's just my opinion as a 49-year-old, going to be 50-year-old woman on what the YouTube influencers can use versus real people using my age or even younger, just real people every day walking around. Because I see beautiful makeup looks. But I'm sorry, I wouldn't go out in public looking like that because um, I wouldn't look right. I just want to not at my age. And, uh, you know, you young girls are way bolder 
than I've ever been able to be with makeup. But I do love makeup. I love skincare. I like making videos. And um, please subscribe to my channel. And um, I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.